Here is a step-by-step -step installation of the AT24 VFD. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to set up the variable frequency drive for your particular process. Step 1. Preparing to configure the VFD. Go to the Quick Start menu. Select the step-by-step -step setting item. Perform a factory reset. Under Mechanism, select the type of drive mechanism. Enter the motor parameters from the nameplate. Select the motor control type. In the Setting Up Interlock section, set three types of interlocks for three digital inputs. DIN 5 to DIN 7, to your choice. Fault Reset, Start Permission, Emergency Stop. As an example, set the Emergency Stop function on digital input number 5 and the Start Permission function on digital input number 6. To do this, connect the indicated signals to the digital inputs. In the parameters, set DIN 5 function to Emergency Stop and DIN 6 function to Start Permission. Step 2. Configuration of VFD protections. On the Checking the Interlocks Connection screen, check the signal path to the specified dials. To do this, you must apply a signal to the digital input. If there is a signal on DIN 5 and DIN 6, the parameter indications, DIN 5 and DIN 6 will be green. If there is no control signal on each of the inputs, the parameter indication will change to red, and you will see the alarm Start Permission or Emergency Stop button. The triggering logic of the digital inputs can be changed by pressing the settings button. The following list of motor protections is available under Motor Protection Setting. Motor Underspeed Protection Motor Overspeed Protection Overload Protection Underload Protection Current Unbalance Protection Motor Phase Loss For example, the VFT responds to minimum frequency speed and maximum frequency speed to warning. After setting the protection to warning or fault, the options for advanced setting of the operation of the protections open. Step 3. Setting up the VFD control. In the control settings section, two control channels are available. The control source for these channels can be Wi-Fi, ACS, digital inputs. For example, set the parameter control source number 1. In the Reference Settings section, there is a choice of two reference sources. Reference sources can be Wi-Fi, ACS, Digital Inputs, Analog Input 1, Analog Input 2, PID, Motor Potentiometer. For example, select the parameter Reference Source 1 and set its value to Wi-Fi. If you select Wi-Fi Reference, the Frequency Speed Reference parameter will be available. Set its value in the range from 2 to 50 Hz. In the section Digital Outputs, you can set the states of two relay outputs and one transitor output for different functions of the variable frequency drive. Set the default setting of the outputs in the state Relay K1, Operation, and Relay K2, Fault. Under Analog Outputs, you can configure two analog outputs, Signal Type, Function, Polarity, Minimum, Maximum. When not using AN, leave the default setting of the outputs. Under Start-Stop setting, there is a parameter setting, Acceleration Time, Deceleration Time, Additional Settings, Start Frequency, Time on Zero Frequency Start, Time on Zero Frequency Stop, Stall Delay. For example, set the parameter Acceleration Time to 10 seconds for smooth acceleration of the motor. Step 4. Auto Restart Settings The following faults can be set up in the Auto Restart Settings section. Motor Overload Reaction Motor Underload Reaction Motor Overspeed Reaction Analog Input 1 Reaction Analog Input 2 Reaction Input Phase Loss Reaction For example, when the Input Phase Loss Reaction Fault is enabled, it is possible to set the response time of this fault and the number of attempts to automatically restart the motor. Also consider the setting of the parameter All Faults AR Activity Time, which is responsible for the activity time of the auto restart function by priority 120 minutes and the total time between fixing the fault in the parameter Input Phase Loss Delay Time by priority 60 seconds. 
Step five, set motor parameters. In the section, Motor Data Identification, all basic parameters for motor settings are summarized. For operation with vector mode and flying start mode, perform motor parameter measurement. To do this, connect the VFD to the asynchronous motor and disconnect the load from the motor. Select the value with the rotation of the shaft in the motor data identification parameter and press the button Start the Motor Data Identification Routine. Read the information message and press the Data Identification button. Wait until the end of the motor parameter calculation and go on to the next setting. Step six, check and save the VFD settings. Read all the information screens and then start. Monitor the changes in parameters by pressing the acceleration button. Change the set point speed by pressing the button of the current frequency set point value. Stop the VFD operation by pressing the stop button. In the completing the setup section, you can save the settings on the device in order to save them in the VFD settings files later. To do this, click on the Save the Actual Settings to the Device button and wait until the download is complete. To save the settings to your device, click on the Download button. After completing the formation of settings, click on the Finish and Return to the Main Menu button to go to the General Menu of the VFD. Step 7. Set the VFD to Vector Mode. Set up the VFD again using vector mode control as an example. The setting is made in the same way as for scalar mode. After all the settings have been made, save the configurations in the VFD. All parameters of the VFD are set and your installation is ready to start with full control of all parameters for safe and long operation. Work with Triol. Sell knowledge.